Hey everyone, this is Pooja and in this video today, I am actually going to share my screen and show you a really uh, simple way that you can teach your kids to eat healthy. And honestly, this works very well for adults as well. If you're wondering what diet is best for you, sometimes, you know, we don't know where to begin. You got to start at the beginning and I'm going to share my screen and show you what we can do. So this is called traffic light eating, and this is actually a concept that was developed by a pediatrician by the name of Dr. Sears, and I'm a health coach certified under Dr. Sears. So this is something we learned, and I just want to share this with you because this is the quick way to show your kids, to teach your kids. So, you know, just like the traffic light says, the green light is so you can go, the yellow is for slowing down or stopping, and then the red light says stop, right? So we can uh, look at foods in the same way. You can categorize them into th these three categories. So the green light foods are all fruits and vegetables. They're good for you, good for boosting your immune system, keeps disease away, helps you have more energy. So yeah, because they have minerals that help us. So and phytonutrients and antioxidants. But we can just teach the kids, just show them, hey, these are the green light foods, all fruits and vegetables, it's a go. And then for the yellow light foods, we have food that we still want to eat, but maybe we want to eat them in moderation. And again, you know, different um, ratios and proportions will work for different people. But just to teach the kids, and this is a general, uh, just, just kind of planting and sowing the seeds for them, so they learn to develop some healthy habits. So the yellow light foods are your pastas, and rice, bread, you know, just a lot of processed carbs. Um, then you have uh, even meat may come under this category. And again, some people do well with meat, some people don't. Plant-based works for many people. But this is just a slowdown and in moderation. And even the healthy fats belong to this category because with fats, even though they may be healthy like olive oil and walnuts, you don't want to overdo it because it's a very calorie dense food. And so we want to try not to get too much calories from fats. But regardless of that, it could be a very healthy, uh, part of a very healthy diet. And then we have the red light foods, which I would say, you know, just teach them early that these are the red light foods we want to stop. We want to really, really cut back if this is what we're living off of. And we really want to reduce this. An ultimate goal would be to get rid of these foods from our diet. They're very inflammatory, causes all kinds of uh, issues, obesity, heart disease, cancer, you know. So we want to stay away from these as much as we can. Uh, you know, the sugary beverages, donuts and pastries and processed meats and things. And I know that this can be very hard for some people when we're starting out. But one of the ways we can do it is by trying to make some of these treats at home, especially the sugary ones, and we can replace the sugar with honey or agave, and we can even, or dates, because they're very sweet, or crush up a banana in there, a ripe banana. So when we're first trying to get wean your kids off of these things, we may have to do a little bit of work and try to give them similar foods at home, but it's a healthier version because you get to control the ingredients. So I hope that this poster is helpful to you. And if uh, you want to show this video to your kids, uh, I'm happy if you share it with them. I hope this is helpful to you. And until next time.